Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Painter Dog, and welcome back to episode 2 of our new City Skyline series. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a great day. It's a Saturday, and I'm just chilling a bit. But yeah, as you can remember from last episode, we are on the Northwood Hills map from a campus DLC. And uh, this is the start of our, our small city. We're at 500 residents. We're making a bit of cash, which is fine. Taxes at 12%. We took a loan. Just so we can get a bit of work done. So, uh, let's see. If I can get this sorted up. I don't know if this music is a bit too loud. Hopefully not. Hopefully you can still hear me. In my earphones is a bit... It's a bit loud, but um, that's just the way I like to listen to this. So, garbage processing status is zero. Why is that? Not what I want to do. Vehicles can move, there's a truck going. So that will get sorted out with time, I believe. We do have some elementary schools, or one elementary school. We do have a medical center. Our power is still okay. Let's see, I want to be as renewable as possible, so... That will be at 9,500 residents, far away. 19,000, no thank you. 42, eh. Ooh, that might be... That might be an option, but it's 1,040 per week, where this is 80 per week. But then again, it generates 80 megawatts, 8. So 10 of this, 8,000, if it's a, the max capacity. Oh, sorry, 800 per week. 8,800. So that might not be a too bad option. 7,000 we can get this, but then again it's 2,200. 6,000, ooh. But yeah. Uh, let's get a bit more zoning, since we are getting a bit of residents wanting to live in our city. So let's get this in. Commercial. Right here. Yeah. I might want to add in a bit of cables, cabling from here. A bit of uh, power lines. If this school were to zone before the residential, pull that up. But uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to speed this up. I will be building or continuing a bit off screen. But that's basically just because uh, the episode will be extremely long. The series will be extremely long if I were to show you everything and you'll get bored. And we don't really want you to get bored. So uh, I will also be looking at more unique buildings and all that throughout the series. And I want to add in when I build up an area. I want to include the, the planning for the unique buildings in there as well. So uh, yeah, that will be something that I'll be doing in the future. But we are growing quite significantly now. And uh, our industrial area is basically maxed out on this side. So we will be wanting to move over to that side. Which is great timing because we unlocked a new area. We have districts. I'm going to go into districts now. Because I want to add in a district for this residential area. We have the police departments and all that. So let's quickly pause this. So first things first. Let's make ourselves a district. Something like that. And I hate it when that happens because I want to need district. What's it saying of conflict nerd? A need district is a happy district or something like that. Let's get that connected. 
and uh, yeah, let's let me extend this. Okay, so this is chest deals. I can stay with that. Let's let's go Europeans a bit. We will be taking a hit in our population size, but that's okay. If any policies, no, we don't have any policies we want to enact now. So our population will take a dramatic dip because all these buildings will get demolished and then rebuilt, which isn't great, but yeah, it's okay. So let's get this. Our industries or our districts will get blurred, but that's okay. So let me get that sorted out. Because these buildings aren't all the way to that road, so that's okay. Get that fold in. And let's get the medium brush. For this bit here. Get that pushed all the way to that road. And something like that. Is there any policies that I... Florence Park. Any policies that I want to enact here? I don't think there's anything yet. So let's get this kicked off. Take a look at our population size. It will tank now. Don't stress too much. We will get uh, this up and running again. That's why I'm, I'm just powering through it on speed level 3, just to get that going. Okay, that's connected. That will get connected later on. I might want to delete this later on, but for now that's fine. Okay, that's connected now. I just started, just wanted to add in power lines to that area. Water and power is still fine because there's not nobody here. Why is our garbage processing status so low? Might be uh, ah, because it's not we're not processing it. That's why. Just wanted to say it might be something with the mods. I did take this loan. Yes, I did. Oh no, I didn't take that one. Well, that's fine. Medical center, we do have one in there. Firehouse. I'm going to add in the firehouse there. And police. Let's add the police on that side. I don't really want to do that now. High school, we're going to lock at 1,300, so that's fine. Let's dinosaurist. The only restaurant with the servers are dinosaurs. Our animatronics are so real, you think a T-Rex is serving you Tebow. A pterodactyl is serving you teriyaki. <laughs> that a bronze radio station is serving you chili dogs. Every dish is an archaeological find. Like our Stego Getty, mm. our Raptor Burger. Do we want to add anything there? No. Nope. The pile of crumbled sticky brownies adventures. Let's get this running a bit dropping. so we can see where so we need take anything a trip else. Into the wild at Dinosaurus. You can dine in or dine O. Okay, so uh, let's get. This is the let's Mars official this one. radio with me, Pena Maskelin. Daniel has sent us a letter. I'll read it to you. I'm just going to change this for now. Hello, Pena. Since I want to talk and now they are babbling on. So I want to add in a small interchange in here. Just a small one on and off ramps, that's it. It might get a, be a bit of a problem later on. As you can see, this is really a heavy traffic area. And people might want to get off this and get onto there. At this stage, it won't be too big an issue because uh, there won't be any crisscrossing because I, I want to connect that up. But the reason I want to add this in now because I want to have a, I want to expand our industrial industrial area. I actually want to move it away from here to the side because I want to add in some agriculture in here. So let's get that. Let's just put it down to a bit slower. And uh, let me get. Yeah, I think twelve will be fine. And before we do too much, let me 
Okay, that's a bit too close. Let's do something like that. Yeah, that's about the same distance. Hopefully this will connect without being too weird. Yeah, not too shabby, eh, Nige? Take a look at... Oh, that's a bit wonky, but... We'll live with it for now. Let's upgrade these roads. Turn those around, turn that around. Okay, so now we have those roads, which is great. And now we don't have enough money. Let's go into loans, take that loan. Let's pay that back and take it again. So we have 65. Let's extend it over the train rails. Is that clipping? No, it's high enough. Great. Okay, so that's extended a bit. That is 540. Let's do something like that. I'm thinking now, do I want to add in, do I want to add in off ramps here and utilize this space? I think for now, not really. Go up to there. I might... Now oh, that, oh, that tower will be in the way, but that's okay. Second, you see, I don't like it if it does that. Let's get them. Yeah, I know. Let's see if we can get this leveled out a bit. Don't like it if a vanilla game does things like that. Okay, that's a bit better. We're almost not making any money. So I might want to get this sorted out sooner rather than later. So uh, do we have industrial specialization, commercial? And we do have this. So farming industry. So let's get a road going through here. Let's get take this down ground level something like that take it to there let's see if this can connect without doing something weird one two down that a bit too steep uh, not really. Okay, so we have that road in. So this is a main road. I don't really want to zone off of this road. But we won't really be zoning, will we? Let's get a bit of road from here. Let's do something like this. Okay, that's good, that's good. This will be... You know what? No, I'm gonna leave this like this. And just make these short areas like this. I might want to add in... Let me just see. Areas like that. Let me just get... Ah. I don't want to add in too much. I just want to get the spacing a bit better. 
you see that one is two block gap and I don't want two block gap, I want a one block gap. Same with that one, two blocks. Here, I don't want to go underground. Take that out. Get that trimmed. And let's line that up. Something like that. So I'm going to take out these ones in between for now. And uh, let me just... I should have done that actually. Get that in. Something like that. I'm deleting those roads and replacing them just so the nodes aren't doing weird stuff. Okay, so uh, we are making a bit of cash, which is great. Let's get farming in this. Oh, we need to make a district first. We don't have any parks, but we don't really want parks. Need to turn that back. So let me set this up. What? Let's do this on screen. Get something like that. Okay. So then let's change this to agriculture. Now we will do normal zoning for now. Because if I remember correctly, we don't have access to those yet. Let's just see. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So let's do normal zoning for now. Uh, first, water. Ah, you thought I forget? Forgot, eh? Now this can go straight over. Let's say from there. Let's just go straight ahead with this and connect it up like that. Okay, so water is almost done. See, if I take that road, I'll miss all those. So, I'm just gonna connect it up like this. We don't have too much overlap and uh, all the areas will get serviced. Okay, so now we need electricity. This will be our first... First zoning will be in there. That's what I wanted to say. You know what, let's get this over the highway first. See if we connect that. Is there something weird going on there? Oh, that's clearing it. And now we connect can connect this up. Try and go at least semi-parallel to the road. Okay, so now that's done. We might want to add in our own fire station in here. Let's do it. Fire station in there. And now we can add our farming specialization buildings. As soon as we unlock industries, then we can... I don't believe I've unlocked those yet. The thing is, I can't remember where it is. Probably be in probably be in here somewhere campus yeah industry areas 1300 then we can change this up to uh, industry but I think for now that will be fine let's just do something like that
shall we? Let's take that bit out so this can get zoned first. Let's add a bit of commercial in here. See, I'm doing the same thing. I'm not zoning on this bit because I will be extending that road out. Because this will be our main road, Cypress Street. Okay, now we can zone this bit again. And I am zoning off of this road, but I won't be zoning off of this one. Well, these types of buildings, yes, but not normal. Normal type buildings. Or zoning type buildings. Let me put it like that. I might just leave this bit. Our industrial demand is going down. Let's get this zone for residential up to there. Up to there. Okay, we do have some res residential now. Let's add some commercial there. We do have it bit, so we might as well use it. Okay. So in that bit. But up to there, because I will be adding in pedestrian roads. You just know I will. As I said, I want to have a bit more industrial walkways in this. Or I actually want people off the roads and using the using pedestrian roads. Okay, this is getting a bit busy, but that's fine. Our electricity supply is really bad, so you know what? Let's start using these areas. Connect that up like that. like that what's the best we can get there ah seven that's fine our sewage treatment is a bit wonky now but almost a bit wonky so let's get that connected did i use the eco yeah i did as soon as that's up and running let's speed this up we have Great sewage again. Electricity is okay. Garbage. I might want to add in the garbage at this end. You know what? I'm going to take this bit out. Because it's not necessary anymore. I might want to add in the garbage area on this side. But yeah. you can look at that later on. Healthcare is still fine. Death care, we haven't unlocked anything. Cemeteries and all that is still locked. Elder care, cemetery, only 2200. Our fire is. that's actually okay. Do we have a service type road? I actually want the roads that are just for, for services. I do have a net, I think it's a network extensions or something like that mod. I really enjoy that. But I think if I use this, I can actually limit. No, I don't want the vehicle to. I don't want it to despawn. I don't want to clear traffic. Where's the traffic restrictions? Or the road restrictions? Yeah, I like that. Then I can actually edit it and tell them that only emergency vehicles can use a bit of road. So if I want to, I can add in things like that. Let me just see. Do I want to go normal dirt roads in here? I think so. Let's see if that works. I 
don't want any of these. I only want recycling or garbage and SOS. Yeah. I think that will be a good good thing. Only thing is will pedestrians still be able to use that road? I'm not sure about the dirt roads. But we'll see. We'll see if they can still use it. If they can still use it, great. If not, we might want to change that up. Uh, so I can leave that like that. Let's take a quick peek at our junctions. We definitely want people to stop there. And of all, out of all these areas, we just want people to stop. Let's stop them at that side as well. You know what? That at this side as well. But yeah, I think this will be. Okay, let me first do something with this, because it will drive me mad if I continue on straight here. So let's do something. I don't want them to be able to to go straight there. Let's add in a dedicated turn lane and dedicated turn lane from that side. Same on that side and on this side. So now if I come from this side, dedicated lane, dedicated lanes, dedicated lane, dedicated, dedicated, dedicated. Great. I might want to do something like that over here, but let's take a look at the traffic again. As you can see, this area is really, really red and that's contributing to our low average flow, average traffic flow, but you can't really do anything at that at this stage. We might want to make a couple of changes here. I think we should upgrade that bit of road. So it's from three to two and we're a tiny town we have park areas unlocked and industry areas parks and rec and a couple of roads canals industries and we'll see one of our custom assets that I included but yeah I think this is will be a great place to leave us off you just quickly see here Two roads into one and dedicated right land lane dedicate the straight. I will be upgrading these roads but then we'll have to move some of these buildings but yeah I want to make this a, a normal I think it's a medium road a small heavy road that's fine let's see if we can upgrade that if it will have any issues later on with this you see there and in here now it's fine like this and for this I'm going to elevate it again let's change that up see now I did something that I shouldn't it like that great so now let me just take this bit away get this zoned let's go back to normal and add in this road again Okay, so now I can quickly make a couple of changes, but I think that will be all. Dedicated lane, dedicated lane. The same with this, dedicated, dedicated. Let me just make sure that everything is fine. Yep, everything is fine. Straight and turn, straight and turn, straight and turn. And our junctions, are they still fine? Yep, they are still great. So now we have a double roads in here. I might want to do the same in here. I'll see what traffic does. Otherwise, I might want to make dedicated lanes again. 
But yeah, I think this will be a great place to end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed this second one. And as I said, I will be recording these episodes back to back. So uh, you know, it might be a while since I address issues in videos. But let me just move away from that sewage outflow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Cheerio.